Greetings and welcome to this week's Prime Insight. I'm Gavin Gooden, the Marketing Director here at Blast One. Today we're going to discuss and explain how to execute DFT measurements, dry film thickness measurements, to the necessary SSPC PA2 standard, which is the most common standard used in the industry. And we're going to use the, the Tefelsco Positector 6000 DFT gauge. This gauge has a PA2 setting that will help us to easily batch all these readings and calculate all the averages for us. Let's start with the basic concept of measuring dry film thickness. For effective corrosion control, coating manufacturers specify their coatings must be applied to a specific coating thickness, which they will then guarantee and warrant to the facility owner that that coating will last for a number of years. Painting contractors need to adhere to these standards to ensure the longevity of the coating, which ultimately protects the infrastructure on which it is applied. Depending on the job, there is typically a minimum and a maximum thickness allowed. Let's pretend, for example, that our specific project, the coating data sheet mandates a minimum of 5 and a maximum of 7.5. Those numbers are super important. Okay, so we have a project area, let's say a tank wall, and we need to make sure that the DFT averages meet the required specification, which is between 5 and 7.5. Step 1. You'll need to divide your entire project into areas no larger than 100 square feet or approximately 10 square metres. The number of these areas subject to inspection will vary depending on the total size of your project. For example, projects less than 1,000 square feet are inspected differently than projects exceeding 1,000 square feet. Check PA2 specs for your details. For now, let's call one of our areas Area A. Step 2. Within each of the measurable areas, you'll need to take readings in five randomly selected spots. It's permissible to read more than five spots in the section, but the bare minimum is five. Note, to define terms, a spot refers to one of these five randomly inspected regions within the 100 square foot area. Step 3. Within each of these spots, you now need to take at least three gauge readings. A gauge reading is one of the three DFT measurements taken within a spot. The size of the spot is no greater than 1.5 inches or 4 centimetres in diameter. The average of these gauge readings equals the inspection value of the spot. For an area to pass, the average of the five spots must conform to the minimum and maximum DFT specs. So, for area A to pass, the average of spots 1 through 5 must conform to the spec. Or more precisely, the group average cannot be lower than 5, nor higher than 7.5. Otherwise, the whole area fails. Now, this is where it gets a bit confusing. As long as the 5 spot group averages passes the spec, some of the underlying spot averages can be actually be outside of the minimum 5 and the maximum 7.5 standards and still be acceptable. Let's further explain by analysing the individual spots. Notice that although the spot averages passes, Spots 1 and 5 are both outside the minimum and maximum respectively. As long as the 100 square foot area average passes, SSPC allows the individual spots some flexibility to drift below and above the minimum and maximum. Specifically within 80% of the minimum and 120% of the maximum. In our example that would be minimum of 5 times 80% is 4 the maximum of 7.5 times 120 equals 9. Thus any spot that falls between 4 and 9 is considered acceptable by SSPC PA2 standard. Spots lower or higher than 4 and 9 are not acceptable even if the overall 100 square foot area average meets the standard. Recapping. The area average must adhere to the standard minimum and maximum. So as long as this is true, each underlying spot has a leeway of 80% of the minimum or 120% of the maximum. And what about the gauge readings? Those have the greatest leeway and can be even outside the 80% to 120% allowance as long as their combined 3 gauge average produces a spot conforming to and within the 80 to 120% standard. Okay, so we're going to explain how to use the Defels Compositector 6000 gauge to take readings according to the PA2 standards. So they give us a handy setup here, you go to memory, a new PA2, 
can see our measurements are set up here. We've got a minimum mill reading of seven, seven and a half, a maximum of 13, three readings per spot, five spots per batch, and got an 80 and 120. So we're going to get a batch. Here we go. All right, so let's take these readings. Three readings per spot. And to change to the next spot, you just hit the plus button. Okay, here you can see the results. So our batch is complete. Our overall average is 10.25 mils. And you can see our different spot readings. And you can see that the batch has been completely calculated according to the PA2 standard and takes all the, math all the mathematics out of it. If you have any qu more questions, don't hesitate to reach out. We're always here available here at Blast One. Thanks for watching this week's Primed Insight. We'll see you next week. Thank you.